Hi friends, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to do a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have a Scorpio in your life that you're hoping to have a deeper understanding of what's going on with them. These readings are meant to be timeless, meaning that when you come across them is when I trust in the divine timing that there's a message in them for you. And I just ask that you do your best to open up your heart space and be willing to listen to your own intuition above everything else because that's your greatest guide and teacher. Okay, it's such a wonderful thing to be here with you this morning. I really appreciate you. I just wanna say thank you so much for the likes, for sharing, for the comments. It all really helps me and means a lot to me. And um, I just wanted you to know that. Okay, so the bottom of the deck today is the Two of Raphael, which is equivalent to the Two of Cups. This is, a, today I'm really feeling this is a card about two hearts really coming together and joining in the light here. So this really feels like a deep love. Um, for some of you, it can be like kindred spirits here. I feel this soulmate energy here. Um, and also for some of you, it's a message to not give up on those that you love. And with that, we also have the page of Ariel. So some of you may be dealing with someone who's young or a child also because the pages are a young energy, but it's also a messenger energy, and Ariel is pentacles or earth. So this could be a really good opportunity that's being offered. For example, it could be a scholarship, it could have to do with education, but a person in this card is educating themselves here. They're uh, very much in the energy of like, it's time to get to work, but it feels balanced. Okay, why is the Two of Cups here for my beautiful Scorpio friends? Please, God, give us more information on the Two of Cups. The Four of Ariel, or the Four of Pentacles. So there's a, notice lately there's been a lot of Pentacles coming out in the readings, which is very interesting. So the Four of Pentacles really much also along the lines with the balance. It's when you give, you also receive. It's important to be in both energies. So for example, if you're always giving and you're never allowing yourself to receive, that will be draining for you. So if someone offers to buy you a coffee, let them. If someone offers to do something nice for you, allow them. Allow the giving and receiving to both be balanced out here. Um, and I feel like with that two of cups, because that's what I was asking for clarity on with this love situation, it's a balancing in this love situation of giving and receiving between both of you. Um, it's, a, it's a message of being open to change here. Sometimes with the Four of Cups, we struggle with change or we're resistant to change. So the message is to be open to change. And it's also, it's another card about balance. So when it has to do with pentacles, it can be uh, taking a look to make sure that you're not being extreme with spending or extreme with saving and really being in that sweet spot in the middle and they do say that balance is a razor's edge so i know that there you know balance is a very hard thing to achieve sometimes but bringing that to your consciousness being aware uh really helps i feel okay so we also have another page there's this message. There's a strong message coming in for you. This one is a page of Raphael, which is a page of cups. So I feel like this opportunity that's coming up for you is also one that is going to be a new emotional situation for you. It can be a message regarding a relationship when it refers to cups. I feel like this person is getting great intuitive insights sitting by the ocean, allowing the waves to come in, listening to the guidance, getting these intuitive insights. This page is very loving and gentle and dreamy and open-hearted. That's what this energy feels like. For some of you, there is this new opportunity, this new emotional situation too. Um, if you get an invitation to something, you may really want to think about uh, going. Okay, we have the page of Michael with the page of swords. That is amazing to me now that we've got three pages in a row for so I feel like it's like 
yeah this new area it's like a new beginning for you or um a new area of study for you or a new area of learning for you especially with three pages um it's it feels like with the page of michael which is swords it's an exciting new challenge in some kind of way it's a new emotional situation it's time to get to work and it's an exciting new challenge so if you get offered something, review it carefully, look at any documents or uh, any contracts. But overall, these pages are about, you have what it takes to succeed here. And it may be with the Two of Cups that this is in love. Could be this new adventure in love or this new emotional situation in love or that you're, you know, a, a relationship that you're working towards here, that you're learning more about, that you're learning to balance the giving and receiving in this relationship. What other messages are here from my Scorpio friends? What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Okay, we got a couple cards that came up together. Okay, so now we have all the pages. I've never, that I can remember, done a reading where I've pulled all four pages. <laughs> um, so that's really incredible to me. The page of Gabriel came out, which is the page of wands, along with the nine of Ariel, which is the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is a very, very good card when it comes to um, the material world, your finances, being independently while be able to take care of yourself. The page of wands is following your passion. So here, like, it's like you're following your passion. You're following your heart with the cups, your mind with the swords. And it, I think this is like a very stable situation for you, but it's, it's like you're in the newer stages of it and you're ready. You're ready for this excitement. You're ready for this adventure. You're ready for this challenge. You're ready for it, Scorpio. You are ready. <laughs> and the Nine of Pentacles, this is meaning that it's your step towards your dreams being fulfilled. This rainbow here is chasing her dreams and the dreams being fulfilled. The Nine of Pentacles means that all of this leads to success for you. You're creating a beautiful life for yourself. And this card came out also, I believe, in the weekly reading. So if you haven't had a chance to watch it, I would really watch it because there's lots of pentacles in that as well as this card. But all these pages, there's this new adventure. It's, um, it's a new territory for you. It's exciting for you. Uh, it's emotional. It's heartfelt. It's also, but I feel like you have... With the four pages, again, the balance, you have the balance of air, the balance of earth, the balance of fire, and the balance of water all balanced out. They're all showing up here. So this balance, this adventure, this new thing leads to the success for you. And success is different for every person. It's defined differently for every person. So it's important that you take the time to ask yourself, what does success look like for me? More importantly, what does success feel like for me because it's different for every person it could be freedom it could be financial success for some it really it's not about judging what it is for you it's about uh being in touch with that and being willing to understand that you are drawing that in here but also scorpio with the nine of pentacles this is your this is independently you doing this this is you are doing this um You've created enough stability and material success for yourself here is what it really does, says. And then you're also creating a beautiful life for yourself and you're creating a beautiful life around you. Okay, Scorpio, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got some messages that are helpful to you. Please subscribe and I will see you again soon.